In this lesson, we're going to be solving some more exponentials, um, but we are going to have to use a calculator on this. And the difference is, is when you don't have, a, have to use a calculator, it's because both sides of the equation consist of the same base. And then if the bases match, you can just drop your bases and just focus on your exponents. Well, that's not going to be the case here. We have an E um, here. 20 is not a bunch of threes. So we won't have any other choice but to use logs to solve this. So everything kind of has a do and an undo. Um, like if you had a square on a problem, you can use a square root to cancel it and solve it. Um, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do logs on stuff. So first thing is I'm going to try to isolate this piece right here, the exponential. So we're going to divide by 100. So we're going to have e to the point 0, 0.08t equaling 25. All right, so once we have this, uh, the only way to get this exponent out of here, because it has a variable, we can't like t root it or anything like that, we are going to log both sides. So that's just like square rooting both sides, it's just like dividing both sides, it's just like dividing by 100 on both sides. As long as you do it to both sides, mathematically you're not cheating anything. So we are going to log both sides. Now you, you have some options. I'm going to natural log both sides for a couple things. So there's a reason why you log both sides, and it's the fact that logs don't keep exponents. Logs, every exponent you have here will always come in front. So that is how we get the exponent out of there. All right, so, um, so we log both sides. And the, another thing here is there's a property on logs that um, if you have log where the base matches the number and the natural log's base is E, so this is an E, um, it just equals one. So this piece just pretty much goes away. So now you're left with 0 0.08t equaling the natural log of 25 divide by 0 0.08 and then t is going to equal and we're going to take this out to four decimal places 40.2359 then I would double definitely double check that I would be plugging this back in making sure that 100 times that is all going to make 2500 now because this decimal never ends um, goes on forever you're not going to get exactly 2,500, but you're going to get awful close. Um, if you really wanted to double check it, I would be taking the whole value from the calculator and plugging it into this, and then that's probably about the only way that you'll get the exact 2,500 out of it. Um, so, same thing is going to happen on the next two examples. Uh, here, we're going to log both sides. Now, it doesn't matter if you log or natural log. I chose natural log here specifically because I knew this was going to turn into one, but my calculator is only has a natural log, and a, so a log base e and a log base 10, not a log base 3. So if I just want to do this real quick, I'm just going to natural log um, both sides. So I could log or natural log both sides, doesn't matter. Again, the only reason I do that is because the exponent can come in front, which is perfect. And then now this is just some value that will divide it over. And x is going to equal whatever that decimal becomes, which is 2.7268. All right. And then we'll do one more. So uh, same thing, uh, even nicer because it rather than the 3 on the last one, we have an e on this. So we'll natural log both sides. That 4t is going to come in front. Natural log both sides. That's going to pull, get pulled down. Um, and that is a 1. So you're looking at 4t equals the natural log of 200 divided by 4. And t is going to equal 1.32. Four, six. Okay, so that was the first couple problems. Um, 
and then we'll do another video that does a little bit more more challenging problems. But that was solving exponentials using logs.